Hey guys, my name is Brian Aarons. I'm the Northeast Region Chief for 2010. I'm Brad Lakota, the National Chief. Bob Cohen, the Southern Region Chief. Hey there, Stale, Southern Region Chief Richie Parola. Craig Gross, the Western Region Chief. And uh, Wilson will be National Vice Chief. Uh, the Service Corps will take care of a lot of the jobs at the Jamboree that uh, a lot of staff areas don't have staff to do. Uh, so they'll call upon us to take care of uh, those jobs and we'll shoot through serve them and uh, whatever tasks they need us to do. What is the total commitment of the Uber the era? Uh, the, the leaders here with the Service Corps, but also with the Mysterio and Compass at the Indian Village. And then we have uh, the Pace Center program as well, uh, teaching healthy living and things of of that such, and uh, I, I think it's it's awesome to, to be able to, to share our influence and, and take our resources and um, the, the wisdom that each of our guys has and uh, take our experience and bring it here to the Jamboree to, to really prove ourselves and validate ourselves with Scotty Donaldson. And you know what, you know what, they think of the press is really like this. Hey guys, my name is Brian Good morning, scouts, scouters, and today, Arrowmen. It's great to see so many of the Order of the Arrow members in the crowd, proudly supporting the Brotherhood of Cheerful Service. Can we get a round of applause for all the Arrowmen in the arena? And you know, it, it's also very refreshing to hear the words from Secretary Gates about the importance of the Boy Scouts of America to this country. Throughout this show, we've been focusing on the patriotism we have for this nation. Patriotism is the love we have for our country, the willingness to sacrifice for this land, but most importantly, the service required to continue and advance our great nation. Patriotism is a dynamic responsibility that we bestow upon ourselves. And there are three men that I think that have fully accepted this duty. Now, I'm, I'm a firm believer that sometimes you have to see someone love something so much before you resolve to love it yourself. And these men love service, and they love this country. Dr. Ian R. Goodman was a patriot. He founded the Order of the Arrow, Scouting's National Honor Society. Dr. Goodman relied on the principles of the Constitution 
and the scout oath and law when he developed the brotherhood of cheerful service. Now, because of the devotion to service, OA lodges are providing service in their units, in their summer camps, and are at the forefront of conservation nationwide. We can also look to Baden Powell who, for founding the scouting movement. His ideas transpired to America only 100 years ago, and we've seen how his love for the service through scouting have influenced lives across the world. Today, we have scout troops volunteering in their communities, cleaning up parks, and serving food to the needy, as well as victims of major catastrophes. However, nobody embodies the principles and fundamentals of patriotism better than our first president, George Washington. George Washington demonstrated his love for this country on the front line, always riding his horse into battle, humbly fighting and serving beside his men. Seeing his example, his men rallied behind him, and this country was founded. It was in this very state that Washington marched his troops, and it was because of his service that we stand here today on these United States. We were founded on a scout oath that says, on my honor, I will do my best to do my duty. We need to stand by our pledge, and now, more than ever, we need to live our pledge of service. Following the legacy of Washington, Baden Powell, and Goodman, our challenge is to take this excitement of the Jamboree and, and volunteer in our troops, in our OA lodges, and in, and in our neighborhoods. We must act as examples for young scouts so they, too, will learn to become good citizens. And we must get back to the notion of helping the elderly cross the street. And finally, we must remind this nation, our United States, that the Boy Scouts of America is alive and well, ready to actively live our oath of honor, our oath of service, and our oath of love for this great country. Please, join me in reaffirming our commitment of cheerful service to this nation. I ask that you now stand with me and recite our oath, Scouting's Pledge of Allegiance to these United States. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty, God, my Thank you, have a great jamboree, and God bless.